Toxic masculinity is affecting your generation, but it is important for you to know that masculinity isn't the problem. Take, for example, big companies that exchange real organic ingredients with toxic substitutes that no one can pronounce in order to mass produce and cheapen their products. They get short-term profits, but they create long-term problems as cancers are now being traced back to toxins found in certain fast foods and sodas and shampoos and deodorants even. Food and cleanliness are not the problem. It's the additives that are the problem. Likewise, Satan loves to use culture to pollute the pure things that God has created, like manhood. Being a man is nothing to apologize for. God created men to be strong, bold leaders, fathers, husbands, brothers, and laborers in their own unique way. But we're seeing toxic masculinity in the form of abusers. Abusers are not real men because real men know that they are to serve and protect the weaker vessel, not slap and punch them. Toxic masculinity is a pollutant. It's a toxin that exchanged the real organic ingredients of manhood like compassion and courage for cruelty. You're supposed to be a man, not a monster. But in the exact same way, the enemy is polluting and creating a form of toxic masculinity by way of men who don't know how to be. The blurring of the gender lines that's happening today is an attack of the enemy causing men and women alike to question their identity. And trying to redefine masculinity with symbols of femininity is a form of toxic masculinity and ultimately it's clever demonic trickery. Because real godly men aren't wimpy and they're not girly.